I, John William Mwandicho. Thank you, Catherine Elizabeth Condon, to be my wife. same space several years ago. I easily noticed you because of your beauty and friendly nature. I grew to appreciate other aspects about you when we became friends and I'm glad today I'll be marrying my friend. It's been quite an experience dating. Uh, during the time we have been dating, you have taught me a lot about things from how to love, caring for other, each other, being there for me whenever I'm feeling down, crying together and playing together, teaching me about your culture, food, introducing me to your family, which has become my family too, and friends. Thank you for loving me, loving me and always supporting me. This is the greatest day of my life and I'm glad I'm being joined with you for eternity. Take you, Wandicho John William, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death do us part. According to God's holy law. And this is my solemn vow to you. Amen. I actually don't remember the first time I saw you, but I have memories of several, several times we met. We were in the same space several years ago. I easily noticed you because of your beauty and friendly nature. I grew to appreciate other aspects about you when we became friends, and I'm glad today I'll be marrying my friend. It's been quite an experience dating. Uh, during the time we have been dating, you have taught me a lot about things from how to love, caring for other, each other, being there for me whenever I'm feeling down, crying together and playing together, teaching me about your culture, food, introducing me to your family, which has become my family too, and friends. Thank you for loving me, loving me and always supporting me. 
This is the greatest day of my life, and I'm glad I'm being joined with you for eternity. I cannot say, but I know you will. But you can't lie to me with all these books that you sell. I'm not trying to follow you to the end of the world. I'm just trying to leave something behind. Words have come from men and mouth oh, But I can't help thinking that I've heard the wrong crowd When all the water is gone, my job will be too And I'm just trying to leave something behind Money is free, but love costs more than our bread. We will now forever be a day we remember and celebrate. I am sitting and overlooking the beautiful water as decorations are being set up. They worked all night. There was even a chandelier. We went on a morning sunrise run in the botanical and all the colonies were there. Hundreds. We saw ducks and monkeys. I guess monkeys are good luck on your wedding day. I hope you guys are enjoying as well. I can't believe this day is finally here. Thinking back to when we, we were just kids on a rugby pitch. And now, here is the big day. I always remember that moment. I saw you walking towards me in the white button up and jeans and thought, I have been with the wrong men all my life. I loved you then, and that love has only grown deeper. Okay, I thought you were sexy then, and now I love the hall. I love the whole you. Every ounce of your being, the most amazing part, and the not so amazing. I love you for you. I'm so happy to get to spend my life with you. You make me a better person. And I love you for that, for that. Through good times and bad times, sickness and health, until death do us part. I can't wait to meet you at the end of the aisle today to begin this lifelong journey, the biggest adventure of our lives. And I'm so happy I have the best person to share that with. I love you so much, Catherine Elizabeth Condon. I won't be late. <laughs> In the ceiling it's hard to reach All the future ahead is broken and red And I'm trying to leave something behind This whole world is a foreign land We swallow the moon, but we don't know our own hand We're running with the case, oh, but we ain't got the gold And we're trying to leave something behind Oh, my friends, I believe we are at the wrong side 
And I cannot read what I did not write I've been to his house, oh, but the master is gone But I'd like to leave something behind Oh, there is a beast who's taking my brain You can put me to bed, but you can't feel my pain When the machine has taken the soul from the man It's time to leave something behind Our money is free, but love costs more than our bread In the ceiling it's hard to reach All the future ahead is already dead And I'm trying to leave something Got this feel
be with you. Brethren, God is love. And those who live in love live in God, and God lives in them. Let us pray as we are. God our Father, you have taught us through your Son that love is the full feeling of the law. Grant these your servants, Johnny William and Elizabeth Catherine, that loving one another, they may continue in your love until the others end through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We have come together in the presence of God to witness the marriage between George William Mandito and Catherine Elizabeth Condon to ask God's blessing on them and share in their joy. Our Lord Jesus Christ was his shepherd Jesus at the wedding in Cana of Galilee. And through his spirit we know he is with us now. The scriptures teach us that marriage is a gift of God in the creation, a means of his grace, a holy mystery in which man and woman become one flesh. It is God's purpose that, as husband and wife, give themselves to each other in love. Throughout their lives, they shall be united in that love as Christ is united with his church. Marriage is given that husband and wife may comfort and help each other, living faithfully together in need and in plenty, in sorrow and in joy. It is given that with delight and tenderness they may know each other in love and through the joy of their body union, they may strengthen the union of their heart and life. It is given that they may and be blessed with caring for them and bring them up in accordance to God's will, to his praise and glory. In marriage, husband and wife belong to one another and they begin a new life together in the community. It is a way of life that all should honor and it must not be undertaken carelessly, lightly or selfishly, but reverently and responsibly and after a serious thought. This is the way of life created and hallowed by God that John and Catherine are now to begin. They'll each give their consent to the other and they'll join hands and they sing solemn vows. And in token of this, they will give and receive a ring. Therefore, on this their waiting day, we pray with them that strengthened and guided by God, they may fulfill his purpose for the whole of their earthly life together. But before we wait them, I am required by the church tradition and the canons and also the laws of this land to ask you, if among you there is somebody who knows a reason that can hinder John and Catherine getting married as husband and wife, should you come right now and let us know. I have seen nobody. So, or else, keep your peace forever and ever. Now, the rest of the congregation can sit and remain with these five. John, you have a reason? What about you? No. <laughs> the you place for the you didn't have any reason. So you can go ahead with the wedding service. Now let me ask you these questions that you must answer from the bottom of your hearts. Not from his, but from your hearts. John, John William, 
Mandito, will you take this woman, Kathy Elizabeth Condor, to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and protect her? Will you forsake all other women for Catherine and her alone? Will you be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Say I will. I will. <laughs> Catherine Elizabeth Condon, will you take this man, John William Wandisha, to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and protect him? Will you forsake all other men for John and him alone? Will you be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? Now who gives the hand of Catherine to be married to John? Please come forward. Till death do us part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. And this is my solemn vow to you. And this is my solemn vow to you. Amen. Amen. John William to be my husband to have and to hold to stay forward for better or for worse for richer or poorer in sickness and in health in sickness and in health to love and to cherish to love and to cherish until death do his life according to God's holy love and this is my soul in power to you and this is my song about you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for the rings. Let us pray, Heavenly Father, by your blessing, let this ring be to John and Catherine a symbol of vanity love and faithfulness, to remind them of the vows and the covenant which they have made this day. This we pray through Jesus Christ our Lord.
give you this ring. At the side of our marriage. At the side of our marriage. With my body, I honor you. With my body, I honor you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. God the Father. God the Father. God the Son. God the Son. God the Holy Spirit. God the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Let me ask you these questions that you must answer from the bottom of your heart, not from lips, but from your heart. George, John William Wandicho, would you take this woman, Catherine Elizabeth Condon, to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and protect her? Will you forsake all other women? For Catherine and her alone, will you be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Catherine Elizabeth Condon, will you take this man, John William Wandicho, to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and protect him? Will you forsake all other men for John and him alone? Will you be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I do and I will. Now who gives the hand of Catherine to be married to John? Please come forward. John William Wandicho. Thank you, Catherine Elizabeth Condon, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better for us, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part. According to God's holy law. And this is my solemn vow to you. Amen. I, Catherine Elizabeth Condon, take you, Wandicho John William, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death do us part, according to God's holy law. And this is my solemn vow to you. Amen.
let us pray for the rings. Let us pray, Heavenly Father, by your blessing, let these rings be to John and Catherine a symbol of unending love and faithfulness, to remind them of the vows and the covenant which they have made this day. This we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Catherine, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honor you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Amen. John, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honor you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Amen. and kiss your bride. You can kneel down. God has joined the two people together. They come from different, different lands. This wedding signifies the union of two families and two societies. This is wonderful. Now, Catherine came with the soil of her land. And John also brought the soil of his land. They are going to mix this soil together as a sign of signifying that these lands are now one because of this marriage. This is the central point that brings the union of John and Catherine power.
join the hands, kneel down. Now that you've been joined together in the holy matrimony, I'm binding you together with the priestly stall to be together, never to separate. And I repeat, to be together, never to separate. But God has put together, nobody should ever separate. Because John and Catherine have accepted to be husband and wife. They have made vows together. They have shared rings as I've seen. Now they're holding each other in hands as you can see. Therefore, this day I declare that this is a husband and wife during marriage in the church according to the behavior the traditions and the canons of the Church of Uganda. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit bless you, protect you, surround you, guide you, feed you, and lift you. That you love one another sincerely and be together until the very last day. This we pray in Jesus Christ, our Lord.
Praise the Lord. Amen. This is a day of rejoicing, so we shouldn't be sad. I'm reading from uh, Genesis 2, 18 to 24. Then the, then the Lord God said, It's not good for the man to live alone. I will make suitable companion to help him. So he took some soil from the ground and formed all the animals and all the birds. Then he brought them to the man to see what he would name them. And that is how they all got their names. So the man named all the birds and all the animals and not one of them was a, suitable, was a suitable companion to help him. Then the Lord God made the man fall into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took out one of the man's ribs and closed to the flesh, and, and closed up the flesh. He formed a woman out of the rib and brought her to him. Then the man said, at last, here is one of my own kind born, taken from my bone and fresh from my flesh. Woman is her name because she was taken out of man. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and is united with his wife and they become one. That's... Uh, the word of God that signifies uh, this wedding. Thank you. A reading from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 13, verses 1 to 13. I may be able to speak the languages of human beings and even of angels. But if I have no love, my speech is no more than a noisy gong or a clanging bell. I may have the gift of inspired preaching. I may have all knowledge and understand all secrets. I may have all the faith needed to move mountains. But if I have no love, I am nothing. I may give away everything I have and even give up my body to be burnt. But if I have no love, this does me no good. Love is patient and kind. It is not jealous or conceited or proud. Love is not ill-mannered or selfish or irritable. Love does not keep a record of wrongs. Love is not happy with evil, but is happy with the truth. Love never gives up, and its faith, hope, and patience never fail. Love is eternal. There are inspired messages, but they are temporary. There are gifts of speaking in strange tongues, but they will cease. There is knowledge, but it will pass. For our gifts of knowledge and of inspired messages are only partial. But, been, but when what is perfect comes, then what is partial will disappear. When I was a child, my speech, feelings, and thinking were all those of a child. Now that I have grown up, I have no more use for childish ways. What we see now is like a dim image in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. What I know now is only partial, then it will be complete, as complete as God's knowledge of me. Meanwhile, these three remain, faith, hope, and love, and the greatest of all of these is love. This is the word of the Lord. Yes, it's true. These things, three things remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of them is love.
chance to speak with them and I was wondering did you see a girl here all the beautiful girls we have here if you are going to walk from here to Kampala you are going to find many beautiful girls One day, didn't you see a girl here and he said no I did not see where did you find a girl, a beautiful one? In America. Can you imagine? How many miles from here to America? Thousands of miles. This is what love is. Love makes a man trek thousands of miles to find the one he loves. Catherine, do you remember the words he told you when he declared his intentions. You remember? Why did you say yes? Why did you say yes? It's that love that made her say yes. One of the things that we do when people come to us intending to get married, the first requirement or the first qualification we need to see. If a man comes, I tell her, Tell him, go and bring her. And I hear from her. Then, when he brings her, I ask her, do you love this man? And he says, yes. We can't wait the people when they are compelled into this marriage. Because we know when you compel people into marriage, there will not be love. Catherine told me, I love him. That's why she brought her people all the way from America and brought Now listen attentively. This love that has brought you together lives forever, it does not die away. It shouldn't cross your mind that when things don't work out, I will jump out of For us here, we don't know this vocabulary divorce. We don't know it. You have chosen to come and marry in a foreign land, that's what it means. Forever. <laughs> we believe in reconciliation. We believe in people sitting together to discuss and confess and forgive and move forward. So, 
love lives forever. Number two, love is patient. John, you are going to be patient with your wife many, many times. <laughs> you understand. Maybe it should take time to learn your language. Understand that. Maybe she doesn't know yet how to make a good carol. <laughs> be patient with her. She will learn. Maybe she doesn't know our culture of treating the in-laws. Be patient with her. If you've married a woman who has her own culture, be patient with her when she tells you the tenets of her culture. Please. You're going to be patient with this man. Please. Sometimes you might not understand you well. Give him a benefit of doubt. And also, be patient with him when you see he has many people around him. Many people around him. Today you are going to open your doors to someone, then tomorrow another, then the other day another, then the other day Be patient. Love is kind. Go and be kind. The genuine kindness. Love is not proud. Love, listen to this, love is not self-seeking. With love, you do away with selfishness. Me is on the side, her is high. We don't expect you to, to, to promote your interests first, John, please. No. Her interests first. Please. Love keeps no record of wrongs. Maybe she will make mistakes. Because she's human. But when she say, my husband, forgive me, forgive her and forgive that. Don't remind her, even the other day, I forgave him. Remember in 2008, I forgave him. Now, please, love does not keep a record of wrongs. This applies to your husband also, please. Love, Love does not delight in evil. You cannot be loving one another and then engage in evil. We don't expect you to, to have intrigue. We don't expect you to rejoice when others are suffering. Love says the truth. Sometimes truth is sour. But please, Tell your wife the truth. Tell your husband the truth. The Bible tells us the truth sets us free. Love always protects. You are going to protect your wife. Now, Panito, please. When a man marries a wife and you are in your bed, you have one bed there. The wife cannot sleep on the side next to the door. No. The wife sleeps at the far end. In the case something evades you, she should reach you first. <laughs> Not her. Love protects. They are going to protect her. Love always trusts. I'm telling these people, I'm telling you. Love always trusts.
Never show your wife that you don't eat first time. Have faith. Never should you show your husband that you have doubts in him. When you do that, you are doing a big mistake. Always try your best to win your partner's trust. By saying the truth, by giving accountability of your time, of your money, of your life, of your inner being. One of the most difficult things in life is to bring back the lost trust. It's so hard. A person can forgive you, but down deep in heart, there's still some doubts. Try your best never to lose trust because it's not easy to bring it back. Love always trusts. Now, look at verse 11. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. And I also reasoned like a child. But when I grew, I put childhood behind me. Now you are married. John, please, you are now grown. You are a husband to someone, please. Catherine, you are somebody's wife. Understand that. Therefore, childish behavior, please, behind. Mature people sit and discuss. Mature people control their temperament. Mature people give a benefit of doubt. Mature people are patient with others. Mature people pray together. When I was a child, I, was, I behaved like a child, but when I grew, I pushed childhood behind me. Therefore, go and love your wife sincerely. To the extent that she forgets America. I asked them, where are you going to live? They said, well, we shall live in both lands. Sometimes it will be in America, sometimes it will be here. But it's possible to make this woman fall for you and for if you so wish. Eh? <laughs> She's objecting. But you loved her, and it not, it's, it's not like a charm, but the love, love itself can be so powerful to become like a charm. Oh, yes. Please. Don't forget we are Christians, please. You chose to conduct your wedding a Christian way because we are Christians. Therefore, you must go to heaven. That is the bottom line. We are not wasting time here. Please. Go and pray with your wife. Go and pray with your husband. Go and pray for him when he's hearing or when he's away. There is a secret and power in the prayer. When he goes somewhere, pray they will come back safely. When he goes somewhere, pray. When you seem to not to be understanding her, pray. God will give you children. Why shouldn't he? You're going to pray and God will give you children and will teach them to pray. Just as your parents did it for you. May the good Lord bless you as you begin your journey as husband and wife. May the good Lord give you the utmost joy you need on this your wedding day and thereafter. May the good Lord give you the wealth of friends to be around you. May the good Lord give you good children. Not only children, but good children. May the good Lord give you wealth 
to go through this world not poor but rich in everything, including material. May the good Lord give you the wealth of salvation and make it heaven. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
come and join us here at the rail, then we shall pray. light will guide you, will bind your love together, and help you nurture your children, and that light will show you the way to heaven. Receive the light of Christ. Let your light shine the darkness of people. Let that light light in your hearts to bring light of sincerity in your hearts. And may the fire of God extinguish and burn all the ungodly in your hearts and serve him genuinely and nurture your children well and bring people to Christ. Let us pray. Let us pray. Lord, you are the light of all the people who follow you. You send your Holy Spirit to be the life and light of all your people. Open the hearts of these, your children, John and his wife, Catherine, to the riches of your grace, that they may bring forth the fruit of the Spirit in love, joy, and peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Heavenly Father, maker of all things you enable us share in your work of creation. Bless this couple, John and his wife Catherine, with the gift and care of children, that their home may be a place of love, security, and truth, and their home and their children grow up knowing and loving you. This we pray in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who shared at Nazareth the life of an earthly home, reign in the home of these your servants as Lord and the King. Give them grace to minister to others as we have ministered to them. Grant that by deed and word they may always be witnesses of your saving love to those among whom they shall live. This we pray in Jesus Christ our Lord. Almighty God, give of life and love Bless this man, John, and his wife, Catherine, whom you now join together in the Christian marriage. Grant them wisdom and devotion in their life together, that each may be to the other a strength in need, a comfort in sorrow, and a companion in joy. Lord, unite their wills in your will, and their spirits in your spirit, that they live and grow together in love and peace all the days they shall live together. This we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Almighty God, most most holy Father, the strength of those who put their trust in you, we pray that as we have brought John and his wife Catherine together by your providence, so you will enrich them by your grace. That these vows they have made today 
in front of the church together with the presence of their parents, they may truly fulfill. Oh Lord, also we pray, as we pray for the parents, as they bless their children, may you bless them to see the joy of their children together. This again we pray in Jesus Christ, our Lord. As our G Savior Jesus Christ taught us, we shall pray, saying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us the other food, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those sin against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. God the Holy Trinity make you strong in faith and love to defend you on every side and guide you in truth and peace. And now John and Catherine, may the peace of God that surpasses human understanding be with you. That will remain the love of God and his son Jesus Christ. Now the blessing of God the Almighty, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you, John, and upon you, Catherine. May that blessing comfort you. May that blessing be enough for you. May that blessing be upon the children who come from you. May that blessing be upon everybody who come in your house. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
cry, I won't cry. No, I just won't shed a tear. Just as long as you stand still by me. So, darling, darling, stand by me. Oh, just stand by me. Oh, stand still by me. Oh, stand still by me. So, darling, darling, stand by me. Won't you stand? Won't you stand? On the bass, ladies, let's go. And with our eyes, we've seen William John Wandisho marrying Catherine Elizabeth Condon. And this certificate signifies that I officially hand over this certificate.